Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we will go through mutators and accesses of the Eloquent ORM in the Laravel web framework. Accessors and mutators allow us to format Eloquent attribute values when we retrieve or set them on model instances. We will start by creating a new route accessor and here we will create a new controller under test folder a test control. So let's create this controller php artisan make controller test and test controller. Then we will create this method accessor. Public function accessor. And we will use our user model here. So first we will get our user. and then the username only let's check this route not found as ttp it means that i have forgot to save this web.php file so now let's try again and here is the name let's go to the database and here is the name let's change this name let's suppose i change all of the characters in lower case for both of the users and let's take another example that we change some characters to uppercase and some to lowercase and when we refresh the data we get this if the data is saved like this then it will be retrieved like this also to avoid such data entries we use accessors and mutators so now let's make some changes in user model let's create a new function cat name and this name is according to the field which is in database and we will use this attribute so these are constant get and attribute and in the middle of get and attribute we use the field name and then let's return this first characters are now capitalized so the uc words is capitalizing this now let's make some changes first we will convert all of the text in lower and then we change to this now you can see that we have the proper format so that's how we retrieve the data using accessor. The accessor allows us to alter data after it's fetched from a database. Now let's take an example of mutators and create a new route for mutator and the method name mutator. Let's create a method in the controller public function mutator and here we will get the user and then we will set the name of the user but not like this we will change some characters to uppercase like this and then we will save this data into the database 
now let's check this copy this URL change accessor to mutator and now let's check the database when we refresh you can see that the name is as we saved it this will not good as the data is not storing as it should be now let's create mutator method in the model set attributes are same and in the middle of set an attribute we will give the field name the mutator allows us to alter data before it's saved to our database Let's copy this and assign this. Our mutator is ready. Let's check this. And now in the database, as you can see that the mutator is working. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. If you have any question, then leave it in comments section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye-bye.